So in last lesson, we have learned how to upload the external layout and do the film mapping. So in this session, we will learn how the template manager works. So in the transition code SFP, I'm using the same last our editor form, which I have developed for the external layout. And I'm just going to layout first. Once the layout is open, there we'll see the template manager view. So here we can see our last created layout. Now in SAP, there are some predefined templates which are designed by SAP. We can also upload our own. So if you want to see those templates, go to palettes. I think, sorry, go to tools. And here we can see one option as template manager. Click on this. And here by default, I think the tab forms will be open. So if we check here, different predefined layouts are there, which are designed by SAP system. Like check request, conference registration, uh, contact information, credit memo, debit memo. Like this, there are multiple predefined templates are available in the SAP. Okay, we can also see blank if we don't want to use any template and by default you want a A4 template to be appear. We can select the required template and we can mark as set selected as default. So here for example, what I will do, I will select one uh, check request. Okay, so let me take, okay, let's simple check contact information. This template I want to set as default. This means that whenever we are creating a Adobe form, by default, this will appear. This will appear as a default. I don't know why the option is getting disabled here for this contact information, but for other it is appearing properly. Okay, so let me select any one check request and I'm selecting here as set selected as default. Okay, and I'm closing this. Now, in this layout, there will, will not be any change. Okay, but if you go back, if you go back and create a new one, if you go back and create a new one, let's say I'm just giving one, create the same last one I'm using, demo on template manager. Save. I will select the field again. Just two, three field I'm selecting here. And also this SFPY. Okay. Now in the last layout, I set that template as default. So if you go to layout editor now, So by default, see, by default, we can see that layout is appearing here. Okay, by default, we can see that layout here. And take example, I just want to map one field here. Based on your requirement, you can map different field. Okay, so I'm just mapping one field here in the number. Okay, in this box, I'm mapping that field. So in the binding, we can see IP underscore from. Okay, other field I'm not mapping as of now. I just want to show showcase how we can use make use of this. Okay, and let me add amount here. I don't know how this will work. Just try. Okay, this is the amount. Fine, and date. Where is the date option here? Okay, so let me just add the date also here in this fine so in the previous step i said the template is default using tools template manager and i had selected that check request as the default okay based on that we can see the default template appearing here and now i'm just mapping the fields now let me save this 
seven close activate effect okay number one two three from Zephyr kernel curve amount 5000 for test okay save test execute see we can see that predefined layout of SAP as it is if you want to do some modification we can change the address we can change the postal code telephone number etc but remaining see in that box I just map the field see here also I can see the amount first uh, here we can see the date this we have to learn like by drag and drop of the field we have to see how we can make use of this but like this way we can use the predefined template of SAP if some templates are useful just change your own company logo change your company address but remaining details like this box this table we can use as it is so this is one template I have shown like this there are many templates are available so whenever we set that template as default and after that next time when we are creating that layout that template will appear so what I will do now again I am going to layout this is one template we learn right check request now we'll see some other template now see here again go to tools template manager and let's say purchase order okay this is purchase order and set as default okay now this is done okay here we're not doing any modification in this layout we are not doing any modification now I will create one more layout in the same T code SFP create demo on template manager give the interface name save again drag and drop the required field from here on the screen or the context node similarly I want SFPY system date save now if I click on layout this time we have changed the default layout to purchase order see this time we can see the default layout of purchase order now based on your requirement we can change the details we can change the field map values okay so here in the pure number what I will do because sorry data view yeah so I have that receipt number right so I will just map that receipt number to this pure field okay and uh, time being I will use the dead field as the PO date okay and company address etc okay let's say this from I just want to map to company just three field I am showing you short demo how to make use of template manager okay so after selecting the layout first we have to check the layout details and we have to before design the layout okay in an Excel file, do the field mapping. Which field from our interface you want to map which field of this layout? Okay, that we have to do before making use of this layout. Predefined template. So here I have map PO number, PO date, and the company name. Three fields I have map here. Fine. So I will just click on save here. Save and close. And activate 
now execute the form receipt number four five like a PO number from set K amount test PO okay I will just execute this and see the output see how beautiful it is okay so if we any template even 50% of the content we can use remaining we can delete as it is see how beautiful it is displaying the PO number and the date we can change the format that we will learn in the patterns okay if I drag and drop down see see the details so like this we can make use of template manager to use the predefined template designed by SAP and now we've seen that once we set that as a default in every layout it is appearing as default so in case if you don't want first for learning purpose you set as default and now you don't want the default template to be appear so what we can do again go in the temp tools template manager Achha, one more thing here we have option for custom also you can upload the custom template also here okay select a template because okay, so custom template also you can upload here like you can we have other I not try all this thing but you can try this okay so blank template so now I don't want to set any default so I'm just selecting a4 page as a default so the next time a default a4, a4 page to be appear not the purchase order close this activate just go back let me quickly just add that template go to the layout we just want to cross check whether now blank is coming or not see now we can see the default a4 page template okay so if we have any company standard template which we want to use every time with some logo and all so that also we can upload in this template manager and you can use else select from the available forms if it is like suitable for your use and you can use for your other form layout so in this way we will learn how to make use of template manager how to set that as the default and how to do the film mapping from data view to the layout editor and we have also seen the output in a very easy way fine so in this way we done with this session thank you